from. And one players have made at least one start this year wearing their hometown uni. Kim couldn't get to that uh, ground ball in the five and a half hole, so it's four for 20 on the homestand after the three slugged almost 500 since the third week of May. Went about 70 feet, and then the last 20 when he saw it hit the grass. Basically flicks it to left field, and the entire time as a hitter, you're going heavy. Poked a single to center his first time. He was full. for San Diego to announce the hometown kid. And that's a strike as well. So I'm going back now looking at as well as that he could have caught that ball. That was a 55% catch probability. Games for San Diego to get their first one. So the same story have had really good pitching. At Coors Field when he was with the Padres. Hit for the cycle, so that broke. And Matt's last appearance in the big leagues was actually with the right. And a line drive, caught. Safe at second. Good read by whole life. Within weeks of the trade that brought Going back to the first cycle, Padres franchise began in 1969. Big gap in left center for CJ. One and two. Miguel Cabrera and Albert Pujols. On the same bat, teammates, personalized. You, you've watched them compete. You've watched them go through. Takes that, it's three and two. So work here in the third. Three two pitch was lined assured by Iglesias. We always say this with the real special. Three and two on Crone. Strike three. CJ's looking off speed. I mean, you take a half hearted swing like that. Brian McMahon, who walked in the first inning, will come up. Strange looking at. Cutters in. Base catcher on catcher. Switching up the signs. They stayed out and it was it was just Machado joining the battery comp up that uh, landed. For single is at first. Swing. This it helped. Even if he did go, and it does look like it was awfully close, no hit. 2 2. And this is lined to right. He sent. Here's the throw. No throw. And now McMahon trying to get to third. Well, after a check swing that didn't go McMahon's way, he by McMahon. So Ryan coming through after the dis. Soto. There's nothing wrong, gets the ball into Brandon Drury. I think Drury's just caught. Right, and Colorado has an early lead on Joe Musgrove and the Padres. Man started to run to third. That pitch misses 2-0 and on Austin Nola here in the third. Look out. Thing about Petco, the dugouts are the smallest in base lows in, in terms size. of, well, in terms of the next smallest. Well, look. Camera operator for the last 85 years. Been two little ones. That's ball four, Kyle. Love seeing me some Greg. He also has what I feel like is the only Falcon. Star Wars getting in the back and just start. Go off to Montecito and ride a little motocross? No, none of that. Off the plate, two and one. Kyle's last two starts, just terrific.
That was at one walk. So 13 strikeouts, one walk over his last couple of outings. He already has. He's gone way up the last three. Well, this is line to center. Daza makes it. For Kyle Freeland, the mixture of pitches is really significant to note because they're. in 2022 are looking at percentages of hand. They're looking at numbers. Do you think it's skewed a little bit? Of course, yeah, I'm, I'm making up numbers right now. And so it can change principles using your whole. There you go, move somebody's feet. For reaction, but still up and in will always make you jump out of the way. Two and two on guys that have done it quite a bit this year. That second best to the top of the order. Taken off was Nola. He'll have to come. And now three and two. This is to short, and the Rockies will be able to face ball. And indeed, it is a 6 4 3. And the cat. The 5 6 7, Hampson after that. Daza bounced into a leadoff singles by Servant and Blackman. And then with two outs. Two of the last three, he's given up more than two. Four. And a two two is. There's a new L now. That's the screen, Spilly. That's a net. Players are worried about it. The first baseman, but in the series, he's made several plus plays. He has that. Dart for Montero. With a double, and he had a double. Yeah, not surprisingly, because he hasn't handled it yet. And he just needs a moment. Snell struck out nine, but went just six. This is off the end of the bat down the left. The Musgrove averages below 50. Challenge with the fastball. Half and players, and then also enough for the broadcast. Jesse and Tony have. See if they'll let us indulge. You probably have teammates in all your years in Little League, you know, like a father or a parent. Doing this now for two years. Plus it. Two and two on him. Rocky's trying to get back in the win column. Three and 11 since the 11. On the ground to short. Kim comes and gets it. And in downtown San Diego. I'm against Kyle. And that pitch is inside ball one. So you went. Cake. That apparently Manny Machado, that's his favorite thing that she makes, is the butter. Bryce Harper, right, uh, excuse me, behind Machado. Did that not look like Bryce Harper? <laughs> yeah. Oh. And 3 0 on Machado. What's, what's the other? And on four pitches, Machado draws a walk. Since he arrived as a teenager, he's walked more than any other player. There he goes in that deep. And he's always had him. It was known as the show, Soto. Sh and back in the day, is now the first 2 0 on Soto. And Machado. This ball is a double play. 
an app. Soto has the ability to wait as long as possible with his swing mechanics, and then he just throws the bear. Absolute rocket right at C.J. Crone. Thank you very much. And all you can do is go inside on Bell. If you have a lot of moving parts, you can't focus in on just the baseball. You're worried about your transfer. Incredible. And then you, you. Bell on four pitches walk. So that's a Burry with Bell at first. Brandon Drury out of the Pacific. And this is in the air to 